self-righteous liberals have swarmed social media trying to tell the world that gun owners are evil. Proving that most recently was a cocky MSNBC host as she asked how NRA members sleep at night but a veteran would slap her straight with just two epic words that rocked her world. The left has most recently hailed a new hero among the resistance efforts against President Donald Trump. According to the New York Times, that would be none other than Joy Reid. Of course, anyone dumb enough to watch her show and digest the misinformation she puts out there really isnt worth having a conversation with. Adi Adspire of Content Reid's main goal is short and simple, division. Just like former President Barack Obama used to do, Reid has taken the bat in. These days, she calls just about everyone that doesn't agree with her a racist. Although she doesn't mind giving preferential treatment to certain races while demanding double standards of others. Basically, any white person calling for equality is a bigot because, well, she said so. Although she gets quite a bit of attention from the left, SHES disregarded as irrelevant by conservatives who can only laugh every time she tries to make an argument. In fact, she humiliated herself most recently by trying to shame American gun owners. Specifically targeting the NRA, Reid took to Twitter to ask, how do its adherents sleep at night it all looks normal, until you take a second look. 80 pics Brad Ofo X at Spire of Content find out more greater than 56,787 saying that constitutionally protected Americans who want to make sure that the Second Amendment rights aren't infringed upon by Democrats are soaked in blood, it WASNT long before the usual suspects arrived to back her up. Just like that, rich celebrities, who were disconnected from the average American, stepped in to also tell people that they knew best. Adspire of content doing this before bed could help you regrow your hair watch this regrow hair xy doctors in the know no longer prescribe diabetes medication heatic tips x the unusual link between coconut oil and Alzheimer's memory repair x unfortunately for them, they were about to get utterly destroyed. Without hesitation, a badass veteran replied and put the self-righteous pricks in the place with just two epic words. MSNBC Joy Reid The NRA is seeped and bathed in blood. How do their adherents sleep at night? Row Twitter user R. Wolf. Well Joy, I sleep very well knowing that I have a Beretta on the nightstand in case some deranged Democrat decides to go on a rampage. After all, HES got a point make sure you hit see more to get the full picture. The fact that anyone wants to blame the NRA for these kinds of things really just goes to show their ignorance on the matter. Does anyone want anyone to know? Are guns only used to innocent people? Absolutely not. In fact, guns are used more often by innocent people who are defending themselves. Currently, there are about 2 or 2.5 million instances each year where guns are used to defend oneself. On the other hand, guns are used to less than 20,000 people every year here in America. Responsible gun owners don't want firearms to be used to people, but they also have the right to defend themselves if necessary, and they know there is no law that will keep guns out of the hands of criminals. So, they want to be able to protect themselves with equal force, which leaves us asking why do Democrats think that? The lives of gun owners are less valuable than those of others. People are dying every day in Chicago, where guns are just about banned in the city, yet people are getting the hands on them and using them for sinister purposes every day. Why have Democrats not demanded change in a place like that? Well, it goes against the narrative to draw any attention to it. In short, Chicago proves that gun control doesn't work. However, the left can't allow a tragedy to go to waste. As a result, despicable Democrats have taken to using dead children as props as they parade their corpses around America for the sake of partisanship. This is disgusting and disturbing on every level, and it's time we hold our leaders responsible for their actions. It all looks normal, until you take a second look. 80 Pix Brad Ofo X at Spire of Content find out more greater than 29,349 Americans have rights, and the Second Amendment is there for a reason. Sadly, it's because of the left that we need the NRA to ensure that those rights are protected from the tyranny they're now proposing. Our lives are just as valuable as everyone else's in this country, and the fact that they're actually arguing against that makes them the monsters, not the other way around.